What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com, recapping the news from yesterday and throwing in a bit more. And before we jump into the things, once again, you guys really killed it on yesterday's video. I was actually surprised how many likes it got in a short amount of time and views. So once again, I appreciate you guys, and you've really helped this channel grow. So it means a lot to me. Now, if you got a second, hit a thumbs up on this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the red button just below the video. Giving you a quick rundown on what's in this video. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. We got a little bit from Converse. We got a little bit from Le Ning. We got Adidas, Nike, and Jordan Brand. Uh, the most would probably be a toss up between Jordan Brand and Adidas. But without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Not long ago, Tyler, the creator, left Vans to join Converse and his first collaboration finally has a release date. So this is the Gulf Wayne Converse One Star and they feature what's being called clear water and white. Up top, we got a light shade of blue that covers pretty much the entire uppers. We got white across the midsole and then kind of like a burnt orange on the laces and the outsole. The last detail is a graphic on the insoles, which is inspired by his album Flower Boy. Now for the release date, it's July 13th and retail price will be $100. Now, I'm not sure, these might go fast because he has a big following, so who knows on this. Probably about a few weeks back, I showed you a first look at the Way of Wade 6. Now, Dwayne Wade came out and confirmed that is the model. Prior to that, I mean, it was confirmed sort of, but this actually, since Dwayne Wade in his signature shoe, confirms it 100%. So for this colorway, it has kind of like a Gucci-like theme. We have green across the uppers, some red accents, as well as black and white. It does look like there's a bit of carbon fiber detailing on the midfoot strap. And in my personal opinion, I think these are the best way of wades to drop. Now, as for the release details, we don't have much to go off of. We actually don't have any. I'm sure they'll be available at select retailers by the start of the 2017-18 NBA season. Kobe Bryant's first signature shoe with Adidas is known as the Adidas Crazy One. Well, that's what it's being called now. And moving forward with the model, the brand's going to bring them back, of course, and they're going to give them an upgrade. So as for the name, as of now, they're being called Adidas Originals Crazy One. I'm not sure if that's 100% confirmed, but this time around, they'll feature premium leather, new buck, and neoprene. We have a look at two colorways. One features black across the upper, the other features light gray, and then we have white accents. We don't have a release date, a time frame, or even a retail price available. But as soon as that's available, I'll make sure to let you know. And I actually like the look. The model is decent to me, but I like the black and white pair. Adidas Originals will release a handful of Adidas NMD R2 colorways. This pair is being called Harvest. Now, being 100% real with you guys, I have no idea why they're called Harvest, but if you do know, let me know in the comments. This pair features a black and gray upper, and then we have black on the three stripes branding, the heel and the laces. On the medial side, there's a bit of red, which lands on the EVA pod overlay, as well as hinted around the collar. Finishing the look is a white boost midsole and a black outsole. So these will be available on July 13th at select Adidas Originals retailers for 170. We have a closer look at an upcoming Adidas NMD R1 Prime knit that will drop during fall. This pair features a color combination of core black, orange, and footwear white. All three colors land on the Prime knit upper, and then black lands on the three stripes, EVA pod overlays, the eye stays, laces, outsole, and heel overlay. We also have a bit of orange that is just above where the toe box would be, and white on the boost midsole. No set release date, but expected to drop during fall, and yeah, these definitely have a fall feel to them, and the retail price will be $170. In yesterday's video, I shared with you that the White Mountaineering Adidas NMD R2 would release later in July, but we have some more information. The release date has been pushed forward, and not only will the NMD R2 release, but the Adidas Stan Smith with Boost, as well as the Adidas NMD Trail. Now for the Stan Smith, one comes in a predominant white theme, the other in olive, and the third in black. And the Adidas NMD Trail will feature white and black as well as olive, white, and black. And the same theme is applied to the Adidas NMD R2. As well as the footwear, there will be some apparel like a Firebird track jacket, hood windbreaker, shirts, and pants. Now, the full collection will release at select retailers on July 15th. The retail price ranges between $180 and $220. 
Last up from Adidas, we have a first look and an on feet look of the United Arrows and Sons Adidas NMD CS2. We don't have any release details whatsoever, just this first look, but they feature a combination of black and gray across the upper. And on the medial side, we have a circular overlay that looks like it has a marble finish. Other details includes the United Arrows and Sons branding on one of the collars, while the other features the Adidas logo. Then we got white on the boost midsole and black on the outsole. So like I mentioned, we don't have release details as of yet, but I'm sure we'll hear more information very soon. The Nike Hyper Dunk 2017 will release in another pack. Well, this is kind of just a nickname pack. It's not official, but it's being called Gradient Midsoles. Two color options will be available. They both feature predominant black across the uppers while either accented with red or yellow. On the midsole, we have either red or yellow, which slowly gradients to white. No release information on these two, but I have a feeling we'll see them drop during August or either September. Nike Sportswear is bringing back a handful of colorways of the Nike Flyknit Trainer. One of those is being called Cirrus Blue. Now, I'm not sure if I said that 100% correct, so I do apologize if I butchered it. Now, across the Flyknit upper, we do have a mixture of that shade of blue as well as black, and then black lands on the Nike swoosh as well as the outsole and hints it on the heel. The last detail is white on the midsole. Now, as for the release information, there isn't much. They're expected to drop during summer 2017. I've heard this month, July, but I don't know. We'll have to wait. But the retail price will be 150. I believe in one of last week's videos, I said that it was hard to believe that the Nike Air more of Tempo in Light Bone would debut on July 15th in the States. I said possibly overseas, and well, I was actually right about that. Information broke today that they will release on July 15th in Japan, Greater China, and Western Europe. Following a North America release will take place on September 15th, so we gotta wait two months. So I'm sure these will go for a little bit of money on eBay knowing that North America has to wait. So with that being said, the retail price is 160 and I'm still not gonna pick these up. We have new images of the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Metallic Gold. So just to recap really quick, Metallic Gold covers the Foam Posit shell and it appears that they have a carbon fiber like overlay. In addition, Metallic Gold lands on the Nike swoosh as well as black being applied to the eye stays, laces around the collar, carbon fiber on the midfoot, and we have it on the outsole. So we don't have a specific release date. They will be available during October 2017 but the retail price will be 230. I can see why people may like this shoe. I probably would like them a lot more if it didn't have the carbon fiber like texture to it. I just feel like a straight metallic gold would have been dope, but I'm over foams at the same time. So it's a definite pass. On to almost everyone's favorite part of the video, Jordan brand. And we have a first look at a model that probably nobody really cares about, but for those that do, I did want to include it. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mid that comes in black and white. So the shoes have a premium essentials type feel to them or even a yin yang feel. Um, obviously, they're not going to come as the quality as the premium essentials, but black leather runs across the uppers and it also lands on the laces. We have white on the Nike swoosh, wings branding, midsole and outsole, as well as the tongue. No release date. This is a model that when you walk into a Jordan brand retailer, if they got them, it'll be on shelves. So don't expect some huge announcement on this, but the retail price will be 110. Rip Hamilton shared his edition of the Air Jordan 11 Low Golf in triple white. Now we first saw the shoes via an eBay auction and apparently this was an exclusive for Michael Jordan, but somehow Rip got his hands on it. Well, not somehow, I mean, he's pretty much tied to the brand even though he retired from the NBA. They feature patent leather as well as mesh and we do have a translucent cleated outsole. Now these aren't expected to release, but I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan brand dropped them. I know um, when they dropped the Jordan 13 Golf, those went fast. Those sold out naturally were reselling for quite a bit of money. So I wouldn't be surprised if these dropped, but at the time of shooting this, we don't have any information. We have a first look at another Air Jordan 5, and this pair is being called Miami. So it does have a South Beach, Miami Vice type feel to them. We have that shade of teal that runs across the midsole as well as the liner and inside of the tongue. And we have like a peach type shade that lands on the shark teeth as well as hinted on the outsole along with the translucent finish. And I did forget to mention that we got white across the uppers and it has a little bit of a textured odd detailing to it. I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what it looks like. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a Photoshop image in the thumbnail, so it'll look pretty close to this, but that 
obviously isn't the actual shoe. But with that being said, I did a little bit of research and digging to supply you guys with some more information that are interested. And I can't 100% confirm that this pair is the shoes, but I'm kind of thinking it is. So the colorway will be white, white, sunblush, and black. So expect these to be nicknamed sunblush. This is a GS exclusive release. They're not dropping for adults. The retail price should be 140. I don't have a set release date, but you can expect to see these at Jordan brand retailers during September. We have new images of the Air Jordan 6 University Blue, AKA UNC. And this will probably be one of the last videos I showcase new images of the shoe just for a bit because right now there's a lot of leaks coming out. I remember before it was just like one image here and there, but it appears that more individuals are getting their hands on them. So you're gonna see a bunch more. And with that being said, I just didn't wanna flood you guys. But with that being said, at the time of shooting this, the release date is December 23rd and the retail price will be 190. The date could be pushed forward or pushed back. You guys already know the drill. Now, just some feedback from you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this shoe in the comments. I absolutely love them, so they're a must pick up for me. Last up from Jordan Brand, we have another look at the Air Jordan 6 Golden Harvest. So this is basically a wheat-like release and they feature Golden Harvest across the entire uppers. And from this look, you can see the quality of the suede used and it does look somewhat decent, but hey, this is another model. You're gonna have to wait until you get them in hand. We also have Cell, which is basically a shade of white that lands on the Jumpman branding, runs across the midsole, and we have a translucent milky outsole. At the time of shooting, there isn't a set release date. They're gonna drop during November. However, I've heard, I believe it was the 17th or 18th, something around that time frame, they'll drop. That isn't confirmed though. But the retail price will be 190. Now, to me, I don't like these at all. Um, just not my style, and I'm not really a fan of wheat being applied to Jordans. I think Nike gets away with it on certain releases, but then again, I'm, I don't wind up buying them. But I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments section your thoughts on the Golden Harvest, aka Wheat Air Jordan 6. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on stinkerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. From this video, what I'm feeling, there's not much. There's only two models. One is the Way of Wade 6. I think those look really dope. I don't know what it is about them, but I'm definitely going to get a pair and I'll make sure to get it a bit early so I can do a review and unboxing on the channel. I like the Gucci colorway we've seen and I like the previous colorway which came in a Chicago-like theme. The other one is the Air Jordan 6 UNC aka University Blue, but I said that so many damn times now that I'm not even gonna give a rundown on it. But leave a comment below and let me know what you liked from this video or what you disliked. Thanks for watching, stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.